Interstitial lung diseases are a complex group of disorders that really involve a lot of scarring of the lung tissue. Um, they vary from being extremely treatable and curable to being progressive and life-threatening. There are a lot of different types of interstitial diseases, probably 200 different types, which makes those very challenging. They're challenging to diagnose, they're challenging to manage, and how well patients do vary drastically among the different interstitial or parenchymal diseases. The diagnosis of interstitial lung diseases is complex because it involves a, a combination of what's going on clinically. There can be environmental factors that patients come in contact with that we have to tease out. There are varied radiographic appearances that can really change what the ultimate diagnosis is. And in some patients, we go as far as to do a, a surgical lung biopsy. And we've done several studies over the years that have shown that the best way to come to a congruent, accurate diagnosis is to work together as a team. And we've generated a system which is now replicated in most of the large centers globally that includes a very strong personal interaction between all of the caregivers that are involved in approaching an individual patient with an ILB. That includes the pulmonologist, me, and many of my colleagues. It includes radiologists who are dedicated to look at images, x-rays of the lung. And in fact, we have a series of radiologists whose life is devoted to looking at CAT scans of the lung in people with these disor disorders. It includes pathologists who are expert in looking at lung samples from these patients and increasingly includes a series of our basic science colleagues that are making some really big strides in allowing us to diagnose these disorders. So we actually have a meeting where all of these individuals meet in a room, it's a big room, a lot of people, and we review the cases for each individual patient, looking at their history, their exposures, what their symptoms are, uh, any previous uh, evaluation that they've had in an outside institution. We will look at all of their CAT scans, x-rays, we will look at all of their pathology, all of their laboratory studies, and in this way, we essentially get the input from all of the experts in the field to actually be able to come up to what we think is the best diagnosis or diagnostic approach. One of the hard things about interstitial lung diseases is there are group of disorders that patients and even many physicians haven't heard a lot about. And they really don't know what to expect uh, as far as treatment or outcomes. So it can be very frightening not just to know what's going on in your lungs, but even if you're told what you think might be going on in your lungs and then you don't understand that. We've learned over time that it is crucial for us to be able to facilitate to smooth a patient's uh, entrance into our system in part because we have a strong suspicion that they are extremely frightened by what they've heard from other physicians or healthcare practitioners and probably what they've read on the web. I, I think we can put it into a, into a very good perspective for them that for everything we have an approach in terms of how to diagnose and how to treat that uh, is likely going to be a little bit better than they anticipated.